when they put a bookstore right next door to the liquor store. <laughs> we know where each one of us went. Um, and this is 2015 Willamette Valley. It was her first vintage at the winery. Um, so eight-year-old Oregon Pinot that's drinking damn good. What's the smartest thing a pair of idiots should do after a wine tasting? <laughs> <laughs> Rewire light fixtures. So I bought this light fixture a year ago and I have been waiting patiently for it to go up and now it finally gets to happen. What'd you do, baby girl? Huh? Look at the Miss Emily. We'll just think goodbye again. Hopefully only once.
I still have some good light in the living room, I thought I'd show you some of my favorite things. Oh, These Rossi. Christmas bells were my grandma's in the 1990s. And so whenever I had this garland on the stairs, I would put this on my stair railing. Um, but I decided this was a good place to hang that garland and put the lights and the bells and everything in it. This was the new garland I got this year. I hung these I made when the boys were babies. I got a little stocking making kit and made one for each of them. And so I hang those here and then I just tied on some ribbons. This was my stocking when I was a baby. So I thought to keep with the theme, I may as well add mine too. And then Logan's here on the end. So these sconces are new this year. They were my grandma's and I just went and bought a couple of little pieces of greenery to put on them and tied some ribbons. This throw blanket is new this year and I really love it. I feel like it just ties all of the colors in. I used to have everything pink and pearl and gold and I still have a lot of pink in my tree, but I just love the deep rich colors of the burgundy and the green. So I had to kind of go back traditional, but I still kept all of grandma's uh, pink Victorian ornaments that she had when I was a kid. And so like these ornaments were hers and they are probably my favorites on this entire tree. These little glass ornaments were also hers. They still are in their famous bar box. So I don't know if you might remember the store famous bar. The one here in my town was bought out by Macy's, which is also since closed thanks to all of the online retail. And then these were hers. I can remember these were from the early nineties. She had her whole house in pink and blue at that time. And these were hers. Here's another one. I think the star one is probably my favorite out of all of those. And then let me see if I can find, here's one. These glass pink ones, I kind of put deeper in the tree. I wasn't for sure if Emily would mess with them or not. And as it turns out, she doesn't. So that part's kind of nice. Having two kitty cats that don't bother the tree, actually three, Ember used to be a house cat, but she's not, she was inside outside. She kind of comes and goes as she pleases. But since Emily's been here, she's pretty much stayed outside almost all the time. Um, and this pearl garland was also grandma's. And honestly, I think that's my favorite part about the entire tree. And these little gold picks were hers as well. And then these, there were just a couple of. And I really, really love those too. Those were grandma's. And then like these ornaments and these ornaments I bought from Hobby Lobby. These I bought from, I don't even remember for sure if I bought those now, or those might have actually been grandma's too. I can't remember. Um, and then my mom bought me this set of ornaments, which was perfect because it has all of the pinks in it, but it also has that pearly color. So it went with my theme. And then these little clips just clip right onto the limbs. And then these little guys I just bought this year. I had some pink ones, but I just wanted to put more burgundy in the tree, so. And that's it for the ornaments. This is one of my favorite things. There used to be a full set. It was like mom, dad, and baby bear. And the dad broke and the mom is missing an arm. So this is what I have left of it. But my grandma gave me these. And this is the note that she left me. And it's dated January 2nd, 1994. And it says, dearest granddaughter, you like these little Santas when you were a little girl. So I would like you to have them with lots of love and love you always, Grandma Lowe's.